Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have an interesting one here. This is called Feral Nights. What this mod does is it makes it so at night time, there's a chance that feral ghouls and big old packs will spawn and just come attack you no matter where you're at. Unless you're in, a, in like a, a workshop or a settlement or something like that. And you can change the settings of this with the handy dandy hot little tape you get added to your inventory. So currently it's disabled. So I want to enable it. And then you want to submit changes no it still says it's so it's like it's currently enabled so it's enabled now it's, it's very hard to get this to work like you see the buttons here so we, we, we have it enabled to switch okay so it should be enabled so check spawn every one hour two hours three hours you can change how many hours this is it is a little inconvenient to click random I, every hour I could just do 100% chance because I'm trying to obviously show it off here for the mod. I believe it starts out at like a random percentage chance. Um, the spawn chance inter increment, right? Your random hunters. Spawn 8 hunters. Spawn 16 hunters. Spawn 24 hunters. Spawn 32 hunters. Spawn random. Like, I don't, like, I guess we'll spawn 32. That's the biggest number we can do. We can mess around with this kind of thing. Um, innocent actor protection, I guess, right? Like, so I guess it won't spawn by people. It won't kill people. I don't know, right? Like, Spawn in interior, spawn in world space, right? Daylight despawn enabled, so like when it automatically becomes daylight, they despawn. So if you're like running away because you're like literally dying by being chased by these huge packs of ghouls, you'll be able to turn that off, and, and or just get out of the way at least until the daytime or whatever. And it does warn you when they're coming. Um, if you you can change the defensive rating you need at your settlements in order to make it so that they won't attack a settlement, and you can change the the radius around a workshop or settlement that they won't spawn within. I've put it at the minimum. I'm really just trying to get them to spawn in. Um, it's daylight now, so I'm gonna make it nighttime. Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, cheap terminal portable here. It allows me to change the time. And we will go in here to my game alteration, my world manipulation, my date and time, and I will make it, uh, let's make it 12 in the, in the morning or at midnight, if you wanna think of it that way, right? It is now midnight. And we should have ghouls spawn in here soon. I mean, it's not going to be right away, um, so I'm going to cut away a little bit, and then when the ghouls spawn, I will show that off. I'll see you guys there. So I just got a beeping message that says ferals are hunting. It pops up in the upper left because I've, I've enabled those warnings and stuff. So that means that I have officially enabled it. It's a little bit weird. you got to really make sure to hit that submit those changes button in the way that you want it to be with all your settings and stuff. So I'm just currently out kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, like in the middle of a field here. Uh, not too far from Diamond City, um, but far enough away where hopefully they'll spawn in here soon. I'm um, still kind of waiting and seeing. It's not something that just jumps you all the time, um, but when it is jumping us, when these federal rules decide, hey, you know, it's time for you to die, it's going to be time for us to die, and we are going to maybe die. We'll see. I'll see you when they actually show up, though. All right, everybody, I quickly fast traveled, and that seems to have some ghouls here. We have a couple here, at least. Usually there's more than a couple, but those are going to go down pretty easy. I, I did turn on the, the pack size to be extremely high though, I think, so we'll see how this goes. But obviously those ghouls I may have just been there too. It's hard to tell sometimes, um, but I did just fast travel to a cleared location, so it shouldn't be too bad. I did level up though, I'll get to that at some point in the future. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can get some more ghouls to spawn. I, I've seen it before, like I've tested this out. Um, and unfortunately my <laughs> recording program decided not to record game audio, so that, that's why I had to like completely redo this video but I'm going to get like a big old pack of ghouls to spawn and then I'll see you when we take on the big one all right everybody I got a big old pile this is an enormous fucking pile of ghouls here um, finally spawned it. it did take a long time too like I kept saying the ferals were hunting and they just didn't show up um, but here we got a decent group of them and they, they can't jump through obviously on my characters just gonna cut through them like butter um, just double check and make sure there's no more. But there's a decent little pile, right? And then obviously, lower level characters will struggle with this kind of thing. You may want to adjust the settings down and be like, all right, maybe not so many can spawn it. Maybe it can't be so difficult. But I still find it kind of inconsistent. Um, and obviously, some people may find it unimmersive anyway because they just literally, as you saw, they're kind of spawned in a big old pile. Like, they're just there all of a sudden. Um, they don't like spawn nearby and then kind of come to you. They're like spawn like almost on you. They're pretty close, but like, not far enough away where you're like you literally can see them spawn in. I mean, you know, it's a personal preference thing. I still think it adds some like 
extra tension at, at nighttime in this game. I mean, we're currently still sitting here, if we look at my data tab, 3.54 in the morning. So it's not, it's not quite even, you know, sunlight up. It's getting brighter, right? We get a little bit more light outside here. Um, it's not as dark as it was at midnight when I was recording and stuff. Um, but you do get some ghouls coming in. And then they attack you. And it's kind of a cool little thing. Like, I, I like it. I like the dynamic of, like, nighttime is scary, right? Like, you have a chance that a big pack of ghouls will come attack you. I'd probably turn the warning off, to be fair. Because I think that would make it at least slightly more immersive, right? Instead of just being like, beep, beep, you're about to be attacked. I turned it on because I really want to know. I want to figure out how this mod works. I, I, I wish some of these inconsistencies that I'm experiencing could be fixed. Or if it's just a me issue, I could figure out why. But, you know, mods are weird and variable like that. But I still definitely recommend you guys check out Feral Knights. Um, it's a cool little mod. If you guys are into this mod and you want to check it out for yourselves, the easiest way to do that would be check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like rating down below. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.